Welcome to the review of Pixel Experience Plus on POCO F1. I have added time steps in the video description for quick navigation. Here I will also cover some important points that no one else is talking about and go in depth with each one of them. Ok, let's get started. MIUI brings a ton of features to Android OS, but also removes a dozen others. If you check the Android 10 website, most of the features listed there are simply gone from MIUI. And that's why I decided to flash the Pixel Experience Plus ROM on my POCO F1. As the name suggests, this ROM brings all the features of the Android 10 and the extra goodies that Google keeps reserved for the Pixel phones. So let's get started. First and the best feature, Live Captions. This feature automatically captions any media playing on your device. When you're watching videos from your Photos app, Instagram, live YouTube video or any other video or audio where there are no subtitles. It generates caption in almost real time and without needing Wi-Fi or mobile data. Imagine that social situation where you don't have your headphones with you. You cannot play audio through your phone speakers because that would be rude. And the video doesn't even have subtitles. Just quickly press the volume button, click on the live caption button and voila, you are set. It's weird why Xiaomi would remove such a great feature from MIUI. To turn it on for the first time, open settings, accessibility, scroll all the way to the bottom and find live caption. Also enable the live caption in volume control for quick access. Do note, right now it's limited to only English language. Rotate while screen orientation lock is enabled. Most people have auto-rotate disabled on their phones. Their reason too is justified, to avoid accidental rotations. Like when you are in the bed and the chat app keeps switching to landscape. But sometimes you do want the app to go landscape and there is no easy way to force rotate it. That's where this feature comes in. Whenever you rotate your phone sideways, the phone senses this motion and a tiny rotate button pops up in the bottom. Just press it to go landscape. Want to switch back to portrait, just rotate again, button pops up, press it and done. All this with auto rotate disabled and still avoiding accidental rotation due to the sensor. Now this is something I wish to have on iPhones as well. Smart reply. To be fair, MIUI does have a quick reply feature, but it rarely works and doesn't work with every app and is not as good. Whenever you receive a message, not only will Android suggest smart text based replies, but based on context recommend actions. Like, if there's an address in message, it will recommend opening it in maps. If there's a link, it will suggest opening it in browser. If there is YouTube video link, open in YouTube, etc. You get the drill. Once you get used to it, there's no going back to life without it. The Recorder App Pixel 4 introduced the new audio recorder app and it is Pixel exclusive. Many people tried to extract its APK and get it running on other devices. But strangely, on MIUI, it always kept crashing or had issues in running its unique transcription feature. And that's why I love the Pixel Experience Plus to bring this app out of the box. So what is this transcription feature? Well, just like any normal audio recorder app, this app records your voice, but along with it, using AI, transcribes and converts voice to text and stores them together. Think of this as a dictation app that even records the audio and binds them together. As soon as I start to talk, starts to live transcribe whatever I am saying. As you can see, this is almost real time. The text starts appearing in near real time as soon as you start recording. It even identifies and tries to label sounds and music. Once you are done recording, you can search through your audio using text, just as if you are searching in a text document. Whatever I am saying, now you transcribe whatever. As soon as I start to, as you can see, this is almost real time. Now you transcribe what? Media player interface with progress indicator. I don't know why Xiaomi would have removed it from MIUI because this is like a must-have feature for anyone who listens to music or a podcast. The media player interface shows media progress, time elapsed total time, quick rewind and forward buttons, time left etc. It's a boon to finally have it. Android 10 navigation gestures. 
Now this one might come down to personal preference, but I prefer the Android 10 default navigation gestures and UI over any other Android vendor's implementation, be it MIUI, Oxygen OS, etc. It's now closer to what we get on the newer iPhones. Swipe up from the center to close app. Swipe up from the center and hold to get into app switcher interface. Here you can hold on the app icon to get to other options like app info, split screen and pausing the app. There is a clear all button to the far left. In the app switcher interface, you also get quick access to Google search bar and 5 recommended apps which the OS uses AI to recommend. Swipe up from the either bottom corners to get to the Google Assistant. In this interface, you can also press and select text or images from compatible apps. Pixel Camera App This app needs no introduction and is the signature feature of Pixel devices. Yes, you can side load this app, but having it with the OS itself as a default camera app is pure convenience. You get the HDR and night sight which this app is famous for. The Gorgeous Settings app All the settings are nicely grouped in the new settings app. The labels are dynamic, highlighting important information thus avoiding further step to go one level deeper. For example, showing the available storage, battery status and how long it will last or how long until full charge. There are also cards for recommended actions. At one point, it even recommended me to turn off background usage of the Google app to extend battery life. Then there is the status bar configuration. Go to system, status bar. You can enable network traffic monitor. Quick settings customizations like pull down from right or left side of the status bar. As you can see, I have configured it to right side of the status bar. So if I swipe down from the left side, it takes me to the usual notification shade. But if I pull down from the right side, it skips the notification shade and jumps to quick settings. We can even customize the number of rows and columns. You can also check for new OTA updates for the ROM by going into Settings, System, Advanced, System Update. Face Unlock Another interesting thing the ROM developers were able to sneak in is the Face Unlock feature using the IR camera. I believe this feature was missing in the early days of the ROM for POCO F1. And in one build, there was issue with video calling apps using the IR camera instead of normal selfie camera. I have covered this bug in another video. I will leave a link in the video description for that video. Updates Google thinks you are using a Pixel phone and you receive tons of updates through Play Store. It's crazy how much of OS and phone specific features Google regularly pushes through Play Store and you get all of it. Other minor things The share sheet has improved and is now noticeably faster. Also no honorable mention to looks and customization features like pixel wallpapers. There are more than a dozen beautiful dynamic wallpapers and they change based on conditions like time of day, location etc. Like this one, the clouds and lightning are real time based on conditions at that location and day and night time too is synchronized based on time at those locations. Here if you look closely, you can look at the lightning. This one updates according to real-time phases of the moon. There is also this lovely Pikachu wallpaper and you can even interact with it. You can customize the fonts, icon shapes, accent colors, etc. There are few things that I do miss from MIUI when coming over to Pixel Experience. Like the call recorder. There are many apps available that you can download and compensate for this missing feature, but most of them are paid and are based on subscription model. Having a native call recorder is a must-have feature these days in Android ROMs. 
so that's it guys if you have any questions please ask them in the comments and also leave a like if you enjoyed this video do subscribe for many such future videos